This is your tap tap. Let's play Obsolescence by Connor Ullman Hart on Newgrounds. Begin by Connor Ullman. He's got many tentacles. Obsolescence. I like the visual design of the thing here and the music so far. It's all dusty. Let's blow away that dust and play the game. So we're at thing. Moving around. Shooting lasers. I'm improving so far. So the impression I gathered is this is sort of one of those boss rush games. It seems to have a pretty cool, like, battle style, though. You just want to hit that, like, mushroom thing in the middle there. But you gotta break all the stuff around it to get to it. Reminds me a lot of... Aw oh, man, I can't remember the name of that game. It's on my phone. Endborn X. It's like, um, that's more of a bullet hell game. I guess this is... Well, I have no idea if this is bullet hell-y or not. But Endborn X is like a bullet hell game where you like break off parts of the boss and everything is bosses. It's... I guess it's not particularly that unique as far as uh, bullet hell games go, but... The breaking off bits and pieces of the boss to get to the main part is really what reminds me of this. Ow, 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 ow. Is that third circle there my health, I guess? Yeah, it sure was. Aw, oh, crap! That was not a good time to lose a life then. Hmm. It seems like you're better off just staying safe and not, like, trying to kill as fast as possible, but instead... You know, just dodge stuff and damage will eventually come. Whoa. Whoa. What? What? Do those hurt? No way. That's crap. That is crap, sir. Sir. Okay, I guess I can avoid that, so that's cool. Actually, this is very easy so far. Though, we're never gonna do damage to it at this point. Or at this rate. Yeah, those sure damage you. Well, crap. I hope there's a continue feature or some crap. Because I'm liking this, but I really don't want to... You know, have to go through all this all perfect and everything. The music's kind of cool, but it's kind of getting to me. It's a bit loud. Which I turned it down, which you can't hear, but still. What do we got? Okay, we got some bullet hell stuff going on here. Some mild bullet hell, but... We got some pretty patterns, at least. Ow. Why am I over here? Ugh, Flash, why you lag? Ugh. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? I want to play you, but if you're going to be like that... I don't know, man. I thought we were friends. Game. Game that I had never played before. I thought we were friends. But no, you're just going to throw that whole three lives and it's game over crap at me. I was never a fan of that. I guess it's arcade style. Whatever. The reason arcade games are unforgivingly difficult and have a limited number of lives per continue is so you could keep feeding them coins. The difficulty was a design decision. It was to get you to pay money. There's really no sense in doing that these days. You can make a game hard, but not have it be unforgiving. I really prefer a game that is hard, but is like, okay, you can continue, I'm gonna erase your score, and you're not gonna win any freaking achievements, and I'm gonna make fun of you or some shit, but you can keep playing. But the whole, oh hey, I hope you enjoy playing the first boss a thousand fucking times because the game is really hard and you have three lives and there's no continues. Not a fan of that. I'm not really 
really sure what I'm supposed to do about this one, aside from just wail on specific ones until I can break a hole in there. Behind. There you go. I guess I just keep spinning, really. Die, you stupid shooty thing. There you go. What now, punk? What now? Now you're dead. That's what now. I like that the, like, the boundary at the edge of the stage, oh god, um, changes, like, based on the last stage you beat. It's kind of cool. If I die to this one again, I liked you, game, but no. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, no invincibility frames. Um, you know, I really want to like you right now, but seriously, seriously now. Uh. I just hate this shit where the only way to play is just by replaying the first stages over and over and over and over because you have so few lives and there's no continues, and there's no checkpoints or anything. And the first bosses aren't even very fun. And practicing, like, repeating the first bosses isn't gonna help you. It doesn't help you practice the later shit at all. So whatever, if I get a game over, that's it. This is a cool game in theory, but the way you choose to de dole out your, your lives just ruins the entire game. Which is a shame, because I would be... This shit is really cool, but what you've done with the difficulty is just bullshit. I'm sorry. But you have to consider shit like this. This this is a very important part of game design. Because you no know, matter how good your game is, if people rage quit, they don't enjoy your game. It's like seriously, people are like, oh you should just play the game more. Well, especially with flash games, the thing is there are literally thousands of flash games I can play on new grounds right now. And this one's being a pain in my ass. I could find thousands of Flash games that let me have save features, or more than three lives, or that let me continue after a game over. You know, honestly, I don't give a shit about my score. I have never cared about my score in a Flash game, ever. Erase my score, let me continue, whatever. That's cool with me. But stop me from progressing? That's just gonna make me quit the game and never play it again. Just... Ugh, don't do this. This is lame. Since I'm already this far, I'm gonna play one more time. But I'm still very disappointed and I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get to the end of the game at this rate. Because you know... It only takes one or two times to learn the boss. But the thing is, to get to the new boss to learn it, I have to go through all of the bullshit before, and that takes a few minutes. It's not as bad as it could be, honestly. It's a pretty short game so far. But I've done this. Don't make me do this again. Repetition is not the same as difficulty. Make the new levels as difficult as you want, but if I have to repeat shit, that's just frustrating. That's not difficult. You know, I'm not here to do a speedrun. Like, speedruns and no damage runs are cool and all, and... You know, they definitely take skill, they're pretty cool to watch and everything, but... They're artificial restrictions. They're... They're challenges players make to themselves. People don't need to be forced to do stuff like that. If they think your game is cool enough to try and do a no damage run, they'll do that. You don't need to force me to do this bullshit. And, as you can quite clearly tell, I really don't appreciate it. And this is coming from someone that likes bullet hell games. I like games that make me suffer, but this... Three lives, 
no bombs, no continues. Bullet Hell games usually let you have a continue. So I'll have to replay part of the level, but not the entire game. If I had to play the entire game every time I got a game over in a Bullet Hell game, I would rage quit, unless it was incredibly short. Like, ridiculously, pathetically short, and that's just... that would not be cool. Plus, Bullet Hell games usually have an easy mode, and... or at least, you know, various difficulty modes. This game does not. Oh, you can damage me after you die. That's... that's cool, bro. I'm okay with that in most Bullet Hell games, but not... This is... this was not the game to make do that. At least I can damage the things that are shooting at me now. Damn it! Frickin' lag! I hate to blame lag, but that was... I don't know. That's Flash's fault, not yours, probably, but still. It's just made worse by the fact that the game is so annoyingly unforgiving. Yeah, we're not gonna beat this boss. The thing is, see... I was trying to say before... If I just get a couple, like, two, three times to fight a boss, I'll learn its tricks. But the thing is, unless I have three lives to practice on a boss, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna get a game over and I'm gonna have to replay everything just because I didn't even know this boss. That's bullshit, because I couldn't have known how to play this boss before I, I've ever even seen it. I like bosses being a puzzle I have to figure out. That's cool. But making me... giving me a puzzle I have to figure out and not actually giving me time to figure it out? That's stupid. Yeah, I know I'm halfway. I'm not gonna get all the way through, though. I'm probably not even gonna get, get past this boss, because I never played it before. And these are bosses that are intentionally tricky to do if you haven't played them before. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> yeah, this is a good game spoiled by bullshit. And I bet, even though I got halfway, there's not gonna be a continue point. me wrong. You didn't prove me wrong. Oh well. This is Obsolescence! A good game spoiled by game design that no one outside of the 80s should really be using anymore. This is not the Nintendo. We don't need to pad out your gameplay. Seriously. There is no place for Nintendo hard games. Like... Well, there is, but... No. Not in good games, you know. Make I Wanna Be the Guy, but, you know, I Wanna Be the Guy isn't actually a good game. The difficulty is the only relevant point of I Wanna Be the Guy. Don't make good games since I Wanna Be the Guy. Because then your good game is just buried under all this shit that no one wants to bother with. Ugh. And the fact is, people play I Wanna Be the Guy because it's famous. So, you know, you're not I Wanna Be the Guy, so you can't, you can't get away with that. Ugh. Anyway, I wish I had played something that was not a dick bag. This game is a dick bag. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Don't.